Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So today we're going to be talking about programmatic SEO and a small <laughs> but very impactful discovery that I've made uh, regarding how we can use the tools that we love, the automation tools, to create uh, programmatic articles in bulk. But let me step back a little bit and talk about what programmatic SEO is. So typically this is uh, where two things happen. So first off, you have your keywords, which could be can dogs eat, for example, and this is your keywords. And then you have a modifier, which is what makes it all programmatic. And this is your keywords. And this is your modifier. A modifier in this case uh, can be any fruit, vegetable, seed, wheat, or whatever that exists on the planet. So there are 5,000 plus variations or even more. And uh, typically uh, what we would do is go to say SEO writing and uh, same with agility writer. We would use the bulk advanced mode and we would have our keywords. So for example, can dogs eat apples? Can dogs eat pizza? Can dogs eat meat? And these are all very high volume keywords, but whenever you're going uh, very granular, something like, uh, I don't know, maybe paprika or, or some sauce, uh, like uh, reddish sauce, can dogs eat reddish sauce, for example, because sky's the limit with this niche. One of the two things happen. First, the bulk generators uh, will not be able to scrape the SERPs, and this is where they get their information from. So with programmatic SEO, what often happens is that uh, the demand is very little, but it still exists, and you either won't get uh, the SERPs, so this keyword would be underserved, or you would get uh, very little information and your article will come out just wrong. So no SERPs for low competition keywords, low KD. So what you need to do, if this happens, you need to have templates. And none of the tools, and I mean autoblogging, I mean Koala, I mean SEO writing, I mean agility, none of the tools allow you to create your own outlines in the bulk mode. So as you can see, Agility works off of the keywords, and then it will create your outline word by word. Same with Agility, you can create keywords separately for every iteration, but still the outlines will be based on the SERPs. And it's all great and wonderful, but whenever you go to LowKD or to the keywords that are underserved with very little volume and competition, and that's what we want for programmatic SEO, the AI will fuck up. So you need a template. And I found a way of doing that inside of both of the tools, and I'll show it to you right now. So the prompt that I will be using is as follows. So as I said, you need a template, and I've just made one up. You need to be more diligent with this, and the template has to be somewhat comprehensive. But say this is the template, strictly use, the prompt goes as follows. Strictly use the same outline below, ignore the previous outlines, replace the food, and the food can be substituted to anything depending on your niche. If you are talking about the tool, you substitute food for tool, software, food for software, location, food for location, replace the location from the locations mentioned in block topic. And then the template goes introduction, can dogs eat food, benefits of dogs eating the food, how to feed the food to a dog, portion size of the food, are dogs allergic to this food? Can diabetic dogs eat that food? Conclusion. And inside of um, both of the tools, uh, there is a sneaky place where you can place those. No pun intended. So with uh, SEO writing, you just go like this. Main keywords, generate title, generate NLPs. Now SEO writing has presets. So my preset is article size small, GBD for 128K. This is the preset for programmatic SEO, target country United States. And now this is where I insert this prompt and I ask the guys from SEO writing to increase the limits. It was 250 characters before, now it's 500. So details to include. Strictly use the same outline below, and this is, uh, this is the prompt. And since this is a preset, I'm saying three images, so YouTube videos, alternate images and videos. For this structure, no to FAQs, yes to everything else, yes to network connection, yes to real-time results. And let's just hit uh, run to see what happens. And basically, you do the same with the Agility Writer. And the Agility Writer now have custom instructions inside of the bulk mode, which they didn't used to have before. And where it says instruction for generated outline, 
you insert this prompt as well. I will be using smart defaults here, which is GPT-4, concise, concise, authoritative and conversational, disable transition, authority links, yes, number of images 3, and add to writing queue. And now I will pause the video and unpause it when everything is ready. So the SEO writing is ready. Let's look at the first article. So the first H2 is canned oxid apples, health benefits, feeding apples do's and don'ts, portion control, and conclusion. So the only thing missing is that uh, is about allergies and diabetic dogs, but the rest is pretty much on par, along with images, which is nice. Okay guys, so let's now look at Agility Rider, same article, canned oxid apples. And we can see that Agility Rider pretty much followed our outline to the T. So can dogs eat apples, benefits of apples, how to safely feed apples, recommended portion sizes, potential allergies, apples and diabetic dogs in conclusion, and the FAQ. So I would say that both tools were pretty good at following the command, the prompt, but Agility Rider was a little bit more dialed in and it actually used the exact outline that we gave it, while SEO writing omitted a few of the subheadings. All in all, both SEO writing and Agility Writer can be used as programmatic SEO machines. If you want to enjoy special discounts, go to Vast Universe exclusive discounts, and there you will see SEO writing discount, which is 30% off, and Agility Writer, which is 15% off. People often ask me about whether those are lifetime. They are lifetime until you change your plan. So if your plan is, for example, 50 bucks per month, this is going to last lifetime. Once you upgrade it or downgrade it, the discount will no longer apply. If you want me to record a video about uh, programmatic niches, I will. Meanwhile, you can check out one of my videos about email marketing niches which I have on my channel, which is part of my Niche Scouter Pro weekly newsletter. So here, inside of these nine niches, there are quite a few, I think three or four, that are suitable for programmatic SEO. And if you're a subscriber of this newsletter, which is free, you get all the Ahrefs keywords for free as well. So that's it. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time.